Welcome to an introduction to Renaissance RA Family Secure Key Update. This video is part of a series covering RA Family Security. If you haven't already done so, it is highly recommended that you watch the RA Family Security series videos covering the RA Family Integrated Crypto Engines, Integrated Secure Key Storage, and Secure Key Installation. Some of the concepts presented in this video assume knowledge of the information covered by those videos. In the Secure Key Installation video, we saw how keys can be securely installed on a Renesas MCU with no plain text key exposure. When initial provisioning is complete, this key installation method is either physically or logically removed. However, applications often require key updates when the product is in use. How do we get a new key onto the device, again with no plain text key exposure? Renesas offers a unique method for application key update. Here's an overview of the process. First, you must create and install one or more special keys called key update keys using the key installation process shown in the secure key installation video. As a quick reminder, this is done by creating an arbitrary user factory programming key or UFPK and using that key to encrypt the key update key. Use the Renesas key wrap service to wrap your UFPK with the hardware root key of the specific MCU group. Then, install the key update key. After initial provisioning, it is recommended to disable the mechanism used to install keys, so it is recommended to install multiple key update keys during provisioning. The key update keys are used to update keys on the device after initial provisioning. The new application key must be encrypted with one of the previously installed key update keys. APIs in the RA Family Flexible Software Package can then be used to MCU uniquely wrap the new application key. Note that additional key update keys cannot be wrapped using this mechanism. We will again use the Security Key Management tool to create the various files needed for secure key update. You can find this tool at the URL shown. After installation, launch the Security Key Management tool. To generate key installation and update files, first select your target MCU and crypto engine. If you haven't already done so, you will need to create a UFPK and a wrapped UFPK. Use the Generate UFPK tab to create either a random or a specific value for the key. Enter the output file name for the UFPK key file and click Generate UFPK key file. Then send this file to the Renesas key wrap service to obtain the wrapped UFPK. Next, we will create a key update key using the Generate KUK tab. For this example, we will generate a random value, but you can also specify a value. Enter the output file name for the KUK key file and click Generate KUK key file. We can see that the key file was generated successfully. Now we will create an installation key file for the key update key. Select the wrapped key tab. Select KUK for the key type and select the UFPK and wrapped UFPK key files. Go over to the key data tab to provide the key material for the key update key. Select the file that contains the KUK we generated earlier. Then select RFP for the output format and enter the key file name. Click generate file. We now have a Renesas key file that we can use with the Renesas flash programmer to install the key update key. Note that the Renesas Flash Programmer only supports key installation for specific security engines and modes. Please review the Secure Key Installation video for how to install the key update key. As a quick reminder, here's an overview of what happens during the key installation process using the SCE9 and SCE5B key installation process as an example. The wrapped UFPK and the encrypted key update key are sent to the MCU over the programmer interface. Internally, these values are sent to the crypto engine which can unwrap the UFPK and decrypt the key update key with no plain text key exposure on any CPU or externally accessible bus. The crypto engine then wraps the key update key with the hardware unique key, and the key is stored in the location specified with the programming command. The application code can now use the installed key update key to wrap additional keys during a key update process. Here's an overview of what happens during the key update process. The wrapped key update key and the KUK encrypted application key are sent to the crypto engine using APIs that are provided in the flexible software package. 
The crypto engine can unwrap the KUK and decrypt the application key with no plain text key exposure on any CPU or externally accessible bus. The crypto engine then wraps the application key with the hardware unique key. The wrapped application key can then be stored in the desired location. We will use the security key management tool to prepare the new application key for secure key update. Launch the tool and select your target MCU and crypto engine. Now we will create files to perform a key update using the key update key we just installed. For this example, we will prepare an AES128 key for secure update. Again, select the wrap key tab. Select AES and 128 bits for the key type. This time, we will need to select KUK as the wrapping key and select the KUK file we generated earlier. Go over to the key data tab to provide the key material for the AES128 key. For this example, we will enter a simple key value. A common way to update keys is via a firmware update. Select C source for the output format to generate C source code that contains the necessary data to perform the key update. Click generate file. We now have C source files that we can use with the key update APIs in the flexible software package to MC uniquely wrap the AES128 key using the previously installed key update key. For detailed instructions covering this entire process, including sample projects demonstrating how to use the flexible software package APIs, download the application project installing and updating secure keys for RA Family from the Renaissance website. Check out more of the videos in the RA Family Security Series for information on topics such as device lifecycle management. For more information about Renaissance Security, visit www.renaissance.com/iot-security.